they went to a place called Gethsemane. And Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. It's hard to speak about this Jesus who is deeply distressed and troubled. We know Jesus as a confident, bold, and strong Savior. Mark tells us that he is and did walk in this way. The realities of his life is what we endure. But we're grateful to Mark for sharing this side of Jesus and the realities of his encouragement. The great hope in the, the incarnation of God, the Son, in, hum, of, in human flesh, is that God, who sometimes seemed so remote, is now intimately aware of what, what it means to be human. What Jesus was facing that night, his arrest, trial, and crucifixion, to frighten and distress anyone in their right mind. We are truly uh, fortunate to have a Savior who's already walked in our steps, someone who has experienced everything that we have experienced and is aware of what we will endure. We're grateful to God for his love and care and sacrifice for us in these ways. Let us pray. Lord, you know what it is like to feel overwhelmed with sorrow and grief and to be anxious about the path that lies ahead. In my times of agony and fear, hold me close. In my doubt and despair, draw me near. Help me in my time of need. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow.